Indian court compares atheist republic to Trump. So this is, there's a lot to get into here. Atheist Republic ongoing legal battle over quote unquote blasphemous tweets recently made headlines in India. In the latest chapter of the saga, on March 28th, the Delhi High Court asked Twitter why it had not banned accounts that posted objectionable content against a Hindu goddess. This referred to a complaint filed last year against Twitter, in, uh, which targeted several posts by Atheist Republic that, com that contained quote-unquote hurtful images of the Hindu goddess Kali. In the latest hearing, the petitioner also further sought to ban Atheist Republic's Twitter account in total. Both judges remarked that the issue is about how people feel about sensitive content, quote, if these kinds of things were done in relation to any other religion, you would be much more careful, careful, more sensitive, the judges said. Siddharth Luthra, Twitter's senior counsel who appeared during the hearings, explained that Twitter, quote, can't block any individual. Twitter cannot take down content without a court order, Luthra added, quote, if this is the logic, then why have you blocked Mr. Trump, the court countered. The court also challenged Twitter to present their policy behind Trump's suspension from Twitter, claiming that they should have done the same thing with Atheist Republic. On the same day, Atheist Republic received an email from Twitter Legal, which stated, quote, a court order from the High Court of Delhi at New Delhi. Hey, can you repeat that last part? You got cut for a second. Just, one, okay. just a little bit. Okay. On the same day, Atheist Republic received an email from Twitter Legal, which stated, quote, Twitter has received a court order from the High Court of Delhi at New Delhi regarding your Twitter account at Atheist Republic that claims that certain content violates the laws of India. Importantly, the email noted that in order to comply with Twitter's obligations under India's local laws, we have withheld the content in we had withheld this content in India. The content remains available elsewhere. Atheist Republic's lawyers intervened and argued that the petitioner's original wish to have the offending tweets removed have been fulfilled as they are now blocked to Indian users, so the court should not go forward with banning the Twitter account in total. They also argued that Atheist Republic must be made a party to the proceedings if the coercive action is taken against the organization and that any blocking by either Twitter or the govern government of India should not occur until Atheist Republic has been heard in court. Their submissions were taken into account and the intervention was allowed. The court also ordered Atheist Republic to submit an affidavit within two weeks discussing its status, location, and presence of any place of business, business and authorized representatives in India. The matter will be heard in court again on September 6, 2022. And this is a good reminder, you guys, that amidst all this chaos, that we have a fundraiser to help us cover the cost of our ongoing legal fees because this is just the latest saga. You know, we have to compensate our lawyers for all the appearances they make in court for us, the way that they intervene, all the documents that they have to prepare for these affidavits, the filing fees, the time they spend researching for, you know, all this documentation that they have to provide to the court, the meetings that I conduct with them. Um, these are not unexpensive, in, inexpensive um, services, right? So um, we have a GoFundMe. The link is in the description. And if you are able to contribute to our fundraiser for our legal expenses, it does help our organization a lot because this intervention in court was a major step in our legal battle in India. And it has turned up the heat in a way. And um, things are only going to be, you know, proceeding uh, with much more importance and uh, much more uh, depth and expense from moving forward. Oh, look, we just got another donation about two hours ago. I think that was Secular Sakai. Or Amazing. Sakai. Yeah. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for all the people who have donated to this. It's very helpful. But yeah, this is insane. So, by the way, just so we will update you next week. Our Twitter got suspended. Um, we will give you more updates uh, about. I mean, it's a Twitter account with more, more hundreds of thousands of uh, 
uh, followers and they suspended it over a court over because of um what they could deem insulting to hindu goddesses right so presumably okay presumably. here's the well, deal we hmm. got suspended on twitter we have received no written no. notification from twitter we have received no email detailing what aspect of their terms of service or community guidelines that we have violated hmm. This is the exact same thing that happened when my personal account got banned. I was just working on Twitter and I was about to interact with a tweet. And when you try to interact with a tweet, you suddenly get a pop-up that says that your account is suspended. I was like, what the heck? That's how we found out. And again, no written explanation. So it is likely because of these court proceedings. We don't know for sure yet. I've submitted an appeal and the appeal was already rejected saying that it was because we violated Twitter right. rules. Again, not detailing a single rule that we violated. Right. So Twitter is enforcing religious rules. And again, not Islamic rules. Hint, like Twitter is defending Hinduism. Like we had, we violated none of Twitter's rules. This is a court pressuring Twitter to remove our account because of Hindu goddesses. Like, a lot of people assume like Muslims are uh, the Muslim community has the highest amount of snowflakes, but like we have never had to deal with anything like this from the Muslim community. Like we've never had any like this is un insane. We have a country. We have this. This is a high. This is not like a lo local court. This is like the high court in the daily high court. Okay, that like it's getting and also our case have been brought up in um, India's Supreme Court, like the highest court in India. Like, this is insane over some pictures of goddesses, like, that are not even nude. Like, they're, they weren't even, like, they weren't, like, I don't understand. They have, it, it, it's ridiculous. You're, the entire country's, the entire judicial system of India should be mocked. And Twitter should be mocked. Like, Twitter is taking the side of, um, you know, far right nationalists um, in enforcing blasphemy laws. Um, this is, in, and they're giving in to them. Like, I don't, the, guys, like, this needs to become a lot bigger news. Like, if this is the standard, then many other Twitter accounts should be banned because of, you know, they're, I mean, Charlie Hebdo is not banned. Charlie Hebdo has cartoons against Islam. Why uh, why is our account banned for having cartoons about Hinduism and Charlie Hebdo? Like, why is it that there's a, a huge amount of Hindu privilege where, I mean, if Charlie Hebdo's Twitter account was banned, the world would be outraged. But our account is banned over, like, having tweets about Hinduism, and there's no reaction. Like, by the way, guys, if you know any journalists that would be interested in covering the step-by-step -step of of what happened and bringing more attention to this, please have them get in touch with Susanna. Susanna, can you put your email in the live chat so for any journalist that might be interested in covering the story and getting any statements from Susanna, or if they want uh, us to explain how everything happened with all the documents and all the evidence for it, because the backlash, by the way, Ibn Qiyam in the live chat was, oh, okay, yeah, this is Susanna's email. So Susanna at atheistrepublic.com. Uh, please email Susanna with any inform with in if you know a journalist that we should reach out to, or if you are a journalist yourself that would like to cover the story. Like we have the highest course in India, getting involved in removing accounts on Twitter simply because of things that are f for defending Hinduism in a secular demo democratic country. This needs to get and Twitter. Uh, Twitter bending the knee and accepting, you know, blasphemy laws, enforcing blasphemy laws, even though not only we, it's not just our claim that we didn't uh, violate any community uh, guidelines. Twitter itself is not telling us that we, like, there's no interaction about what tweets of ours has been violating. Like, they didn't even message us about what, what did we put to get there that was against their community guidelines. There's no transparency. There's no mention of what tweets. It's just, oh, your account is suspended. Um, so you want to read this comment? Yeah, so uh, Mingayim, I cannot pronounce the cues for the life of me, is saying the fact that this matter has gone to court and the court is taking this seriously and allowing the proceedings to continue is embarrassing. I think no, you, you mean yeah. speaking to this whole issue of religious sensitivity and religious offense. Like 
from our yeah. perspective and from our rule of law, like it is ridiculous. It is something that the state should not be um, involved in. Now, I want to include a statement that I wrote when I heard about this news because I have a lot to say. So I included this in the news article where we did the full write up on uh, this court hearing. Um, link is in the description of uh, this stream um, if you want to read like a full detailing of what went down. But here's the statement that I wrote. The judge's comment that, quote, if these kinds of things were done in relation to another religion, you'd be much more careful, much more careful, more sensitive, is laughably false. I interpret this statement to be referring by implication to the religion of Islam, the sensitive nature of blasphemy in that faith, and the risk of violent reaction. This statement implies that we are singling out Hinduism for abuse and that we are biased in what faiths we blaspheme. This statement could not be further from the truth and in fact demonstrates the pro-Hinduism bias of this judge. If this statement is directed towards Atheist Republic, our organization has been blaspheming against Islam for much longer and in much more quote-unquote harsh forms than our blasphemy against Hinduism, including burning and publicly desecrating the Quran as a support in, as a protest and support of freedom of expression. In fact, one of the posts that they ordered to be blocked itself contains an image of Jesus and the Prophet Muhammad kissing on top of a rainbow Kaaba. So the, the statement that, oh, you'd be much more careful if it was another faith is literally contained within the post that they want removed. <laughs> okay. Two, if this statement is directed towards Twitter, Twitter has consistently allowed blasphemous portrayals of the Prophet Muhammad, including, including allowing the posting of the notorious Charlie Hebdo cartoons that have resulted in the actual loss of human life. If Twitter did not allow such content on their site, Atheist Republic would ourselves condemn them for such bias. Most importantly, it should be noted that the images that have literally resulted in the death of humans is still publicly available on Twitter. The blasphemous content from Atheist Republic that was so offensive to the petitioners has led to exactly zero physical harm to any person. It's unbelievable how ridiculous these people, these lawyers are when they're like attacking us for, they're saying Twitter, like, oh, if, if this was about Islam, we would take it more seriously. Like, have you seen our account? We obviously have posts against Islam. And also, majority. your, your and yeah, majority is against Islam and Christianity and other religions. And the, the sample that you're showing the court has is has the tweet about muhammad and jesus like look at your own example like oh if this was about islam we would take it seriously like are you are you are you out of your mind like have you seen twitter oh my okay anyways guys like we need to fight this um no matter what happens no matter what results comes out of this we can't just take this like lying back like we have to stand up to this okay even if it's not for the sake of our Twitter account, which doesn't seem to be able to come back, for us to be able to not make this okay, for like having a court order, just push it, like, oh, we don't like this. Here's a court order. Okay, Twitter, like, oh, it's court order. Okay, let's remove this Twitter account. Is, that, is it that easy? So India, basically now, because India's courts are so sensitive and they're accepting all these snowflakes as court cases against anything they might find offensive. And because Twitter just accepts any court order, then t India is now going to become the source of courts just taking out Twitter accounts that they don't like if it's that easy. So help us take a stand against this. Like, help us make this not okay. Like, like our legal fund, like, guys, we have so far, we got $3,800. And with this little money, we have done so much because we have lawyers in India that are doing this job for us. And look how small our legal fund is compared to other people's legal fund. And we have managed to make every dollar do a lot of work with even though it's a small legal fund. OK, so we're like we're right now, even though we're not in India, we're standing up like us little atheists or tiny little atheist republic is now the only organization that is between like court orders filing blasphemy laws in a for a company that is not even in India and Twitter, like it's an American company and is abiding by in Indian blasphemy laws. And we are the, co we are the company in the way in the middle of this with only less than $4,000 against the largest political party in the world, which is the BJP, which is a Hindutva nationalist 
a far right government that is apparently dictating what social media companies are supposed to do. Okay, so this four thousand dollars has been the only weapon that we have had against this force that is coming at us. So if you can, please donate to this GoFundMe. Link is in the description. Give us more ammunition to be able to resist this. Link is in the description. Yes. Um, final thing I wanted to add is that I'm going to be meeting with our lawyers in the next few days. So I'll be coming back to you guys with more information about how we're going to proceed, how we're going to respond, to what extent we can attribute our account being so, you know, coincidentally suspended to this court uh, hearing and what we're going to do to fight it. And we will all next week, we'll also be really diving into our Twitter suspension in more depth and what we can do. In the meantime, what you can do to help us with our Twitter suspension is tweet to support Atheist Republic. So I put a sample tweet in the live chat saying, and this is very important, when you tweet at Twitter support, you have to put a period before the at, because otherwise people, other people won't see it. So that's very important. So period at Twitter support, the user at Atheist Republic has been suspended without any written notice of which policies the account supposedly violated. Please correct this. Um, or you can come up oh, with your own tweet. Um, but please, when you are tweeting at Twitter support, be very polite to them about our suspension because we would like to have goodwill towards getting our account back. Um, but like I said, I will be giving you guys a lot more information about this next week after um, I've had the latest meeting can, with our Can you post this as a comment uh, once the stream is over and pin it to the oh, top yeah. as well? I, can, I was going to yeah. put it in the description as well. Um, okay. And, and the comments as well. Yeah. Queer Indian Atheist is already saying, oops, already saying that they tweeted to support AR. So thank you. Thank queer you Indian so Atheist. much, Queer Indian Atheist. Oh, by the way, go subscribe to Queer Indian Atheist YouTube channel. Yes, Please. also them. Great, great people. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.